YouTube has been very dry lately. And y'all notice that too. I know you do. But there's been some drama going on with Clarence NYC, Queen, Chris Sales, and Clarence's ex. Let's get to the bottom of it. gonna react to all of Clarence's videos or Leslie which is his ex there's just too many out there all I know is that this all started from a book that was supposedly written about Clarence and Queen's relationship and Clarence's ex and they thought the author was his ex apparently she did not write it but Clarence sure as hell did react to these videos and Leslie started a YouTube channel because of it so we're just gonna jump right into Clarence's video that he uploaded. Clarence NYC TV uploaded a video called I Have Something to Say. It's a 45 minute video. I'm not gonna react to the whole damn thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip through it and talk about the main parts. All right, let's see what this man has to say. Y'all ready? Let's get it. And you say you should have taken me back and gave me second chances. I just feel like that goes both ways. I'm not gonna get into that. Because again, I'm not here to get into like I'm 20, I'm about to be 27 years old. I'm not about to get into that. I'm not about to get in into like this beef with my ex and I'm in a happy relationship and I have a family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not Thanks. about to get in that, but that goes both ways. I feel like I've taken her back and she has taken me back on several occasions. But I felt like we were very young, you know what I'm saying? But that's to each his own, I really don't care. They were young, guys. He's gonna fuck up. She's gonna fuck up. We fuck up at this age, at the age of 35. It happens. You have two individuals, two different lifestyles, two different upbringings, two different environments. It's gonna happen. Y'all are gonna fuck up. I hate when people do this. When people break up, they put all the blame onto one person. Y'all know that's not how it works. You both did your part. You both didn't do your part. Be held accountable for your actions. It's not just your ex that fucked up that relationship. Honesty, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. One thing that I'm, I'm, I'm why I'm so honest, and Queens has said this multiple times, I'm very honest with Queen. I literally tell her everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Literally everything. Like shit that you probably would look at, like look at it as like, yo, y'all be tripping, but nigga, everything. Do you feel me? And that's not something I could do with my ex. You feel me? That's not something I feel like I could do because I always had to hide it. If I'm going to a party with my man, I had to hide it and say it was like a fucking get together because then she's coming crazy saying, like, you know what I mean? It's like, Oh, there's gonna be girls on you. If you go there, there's girls. You know there's gonna be girls. Like, it's just always mm. something. You feel me? Like, it just really... Every relationship you get into is gonna be different. Because the person that you're with is different. He couldn't be trusted because he lied a lot. That's his fault. He should have never lied in his relationship. But he felt like he needed to because obviously Leslie seemed to be very insecure and seems to be a little bit jealous. That's why she couldn't trust him either. And anywhere he went, it was a problem. But that relationship was not going to work. Not after that. The next thing I got to address is about your, your health problems. You know what I'm saying? And this, to Leslie, you said that I use and I said your, uh, like your health problem and in like the, the fertile thing or whatever, that I used it like maliciously or anything. In all, all honesty, I, I had said like you like they should have been the T pages and all of them should be mindful because they don't know what it could be and I said that that was impossible that we had an abortion because we never even had a kid because that would be impossible you know what I'm saying so I feel I see I see where I see where like people some people are saying that like I should have never said that or anything I could see where you say that but at the same time i never did it maliciously now i don't know if she knew medically that there was in infertility issues and that he knew about it during the relationship i don't know that i haven't seen that video but i do remember hearing that clarence thought that there was something wrong with his sperm because he had sex without protection for a long for many years and he was never able to impregnate anyone so he was surprised when he got queen pregnant. So I don't know if he knew that she might have been having infertility issues or if he thought he had it, but apparently it just wasn't working. But from what he's saying right now, it seems like he knew that she had medical issues with that. 
And yeah, everybody's right, and it seems like he knows that he was wrong for bringing that up. It's That's something very personal, and I'm sure she's very heartbroken by that. Why wouldn't she be? But at the same time, I know Clarence had good intentions. I'm pretty sure he meant no harm by it. Or an intent to hurt or to be like messy or anything like because that's just not me like i would never just intentionally do something like that like if you watch the video i was trying to tread around it like you know what i'm saying i didn't blatantly say it i didn't like just obnoxiously obnoxiously say it you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to make that clear you know what i'm saying like i really was being yeah. mind trying to be mindful of the situation and even though i don't owe nobody anything i was still trying to be mindful of the situation just out of the kindness of my heart have i always been and one thing that you said early you said that you've been quiet for three years you know what i'm saying and i feel like i have to then for remind you what you've done over these three years do you feel me and we still have never said anything we've never let people bash you we've never told people to bash you we've never like we've never sent people to go say this and do that like we've never done any of that since you want to try to play victim and say like and you've been quiet and now it's time to say something you went live you've went live or you've entertained queen's ex right correct y'all know who's queen's ex Chris motherfucking sales. Chris motherfucking I'm still in love with Queen sales. Chris motherfucking I'm broke so I gotta make money off of other people's names. Sales. That's her ex. Correct me if I'm wrong. You've made a diss track in the beginning <laughs> crazy. of Queen. With your little cousins and sisters or whatever. I never heard it. You've went live with some of your friends talking and making fun of queen damn and yeah. how you're battered and how you look better or and how you do this and they don't have she that does this it's natural or whatever the fuck y'all got going on you've done that like you feel me you haven't been quiet like the whole victim shit that shit is like come on mad annoying like i'm pretty sure people was raging right through that just for speaking of the district just to just to show you how the, the, just how the situation was and how she's making it seem is not true when the diss track happened i co i put took up i picked up the phone and i called leslie right in front of queen and telling her like yo you bugging like now they're about to bash you whatever like and on top of that i've actually asked queen myself in the beginning when we were just friends to please just tweet yo let please just tell let's uh tell your fans not to go bash mm -mm. go bash her nah. or go and go flutter that flutter comments how he was doing or do some of the stuff that and troll her that. and stuff like that i even asked queen to do that and she did it but we in a like but we was in a relationship somehow and like and you're, you're playing victim as if like i've never like i've always moved like how my mom taught me to I'm here to be like oh you're my ex i fucking hate you 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 this the, like i'm not here to do any of that i'm just tell, i'm just hitting you with the facts that whole victim shit like bro that's clarence being protective over his ex you don't owe her shit you shouldn't have protected her for nothing she's over here on some jealousy shit attacking your new girl for what your new girl has never said shit about her. As a matter of fact, I remember Queen saying nice things about the girl, saying how beautiful she was. Some women are just so insecure that they feel like bashing another woman is gonna make their confidence boost up in some way or, their, uh, or to get the attention of the man that they crave so much from. Clarence, you done fucked up by trying to protect the girl. Look what happens. Look what happens. Another thing I, do, I feel like I need to address. You said we used to watch Queen and, and, and her ex <laughs> back in the day that's no. cap stop the cap that bothered me a little bit because that's not true i've never i've always like i've never you've been with me for you said four or five years i think we were together Have, i've never watched youtube i've never watched youtube until i was about to start youtube and when, when i was about to start youtube you was never in my life you get what i'm saying i think you was in that first video we was in the back of that first video and after that you've never been in You've never been around any other video I've done. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like strategical with this shit. Like, I'm not like, like I know I don't have like a degree or any of that stuff. You don't like, need a degree I'm for YouTube. With this shit. When I want something, I'm like, I'm gonna get it. You feel me? And 
nigga, I wanted to do YouTube. So what did I start doing? I started watching YouTube. One, I already said this, one YouTuber that I watched was DDG. I remember I've that. Him I remember him saying that. I'm like, what? Niggas kind of I hate with YouTube checkers. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I want to do that. You feel me? At one point, I wanted to do a, a couple channel, possibly with my ex, you know what I'm saying? So I might have seen, nigga, I, I, when Queen DM me, I knew who she was. Nigga, we never watched YouTube together. Like, that's <coughs> a, like, that don't, like, don't say, like, that's corny. That's wild corny. I had to. I believe the guy. I believe Clarence. I think he's telling the truth about not watching Chris and Queen. That's straight. Like, stop playing with me. I'm trying to watch couples. Like, nigga, I was trying to get to that bag. I was trying to watch. That's you know? not what enticed me. You know? First, so the end of part two, you said Queen, Queen DMing me made, like, DMing me made sense the way our relationship was going at the end. Right? Um... There's a there's a, a particular like I don't remember everything because it was such a long time ago. So is Leslie saying that towards the end of their relationship while they were still together, he was already talking to Queen and the DMs? Or is she saying the relationship has already ended, but not fully, if you know what I mean, you know, when you break up with somebody but y'all are still kicking it, you know, with the strings attached, and he was over here DMing Queen? Is that what Leslie's saying? There was a particular moment where I could think about that is proof that like what you're making it seem like you know and I know that we were done. Mm. Like we were done. We were arguing. We were doing that. You were doing your thing. You you feel me? You, we, like we had, a, I think we came back from a break. You got what I'm saying? Some things we both shared that like we did while we were on the break. We both didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? So we broke like, we was pretty much over. We had two different goals at the at that time. You feel me? I feel like my goal is to be successful. And I feel like your goal is to be happily in love. You feel me? And that just wasn't the kind of time I was on. I did. But, but like, I, I, like I'm not taking anything we had away, you feel me? But it just, like, that's just my, my like, I was trying to be successful, you feel me? And I, I, I expressed that to you many times. I, I got to start doing things. I got to I can't be cr crapped up in this, in this, in this basement with you. I can't be, Facts. like, just, just focus on the joints. I can't be, you feel me? Like, I was trying to really get my shit together out here. I got kicked out of school. I had to figure it out, you feel me? Kind of made it seem like you didn't want to hold me back and you were saying all of that, but that was the main, that was one of the main problems that I had with you, you feel me? And that was, mm. that was one of the things that I fell in love with about Queen, mm. is that she never, like, she never, like, even though she has the spotlight, don't she's a mega superstar. You feel me? Even though she has the spotlight, whatever, she was never like like she never wanted to hold me back. Like you know, she wanted me to shine. She never said, Oh, I got too many followers and 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 I ain't gonna record him and I ain't gonna do a video with him because I got them too big. Like she never did any of that, you know what I'm saying? She never held me back. She always wanted me to get better Facts. from the jump. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go through all the DMs, but she told me she's like the one of the first things she said was, nigga, what car, like what car, what car do you like? And I said, an Audi. And she said, nigga, start your YouTube channel and you get that. Simple, uh, like it was that simple. That like, simple. You feel me? Like, and I, I never got that vibe and energy from from anybody else, you feel me? So that, like, that, that just, like, that's one of the things that I, I fell in love with her about, you feel me? Queen, just, there's not a lot of women like her. And then... That's how it is. Like, it, they were together when they were young. You're gonna change during that time and you're gonna have different goals. And it seemed like he just was just very business savvy. He was ready to make money, ready to make moves. You can still have a successful relationship if your other partner supports your dreams. From what it seems like, it, it was just hard for, for Leslie. And there's nothing wrong with that neither. She, she, want, she had different goals in mind. They weren't clicking and it was just time to move on. There was nothing wrong with that. You said there was someone I think it was said that, that it was business. Yeah, that like, I said it was business. And you're damn right I said it was business. Do you hear, do you see those DMs? I said it was business because I wasn't on that kind of time. You feel me, there's all kind of girls in my DMs. I'm not even, I never even went into that. Like nigga, Queen's not the only celebrity, celebrity that was in my DM. Not only female celebrity, there was multiple. Mm. You feel me? 
Okay, so let's go back to the DMs and see what he's talking about exactly. Boom. So this is how the whole conversation started. The, their very first interaction with each other. She's Queen and her. Queen and Clarence. What do you, yo, what do you do? I said, I do clothes and I model. How come you ask like that? Laugh at loud, question mark. Well, I was only asking because I see you everywhere and I'm like, okay, who is this guy? Sorry if I came off wrong. Nah, it's okay. Nah, it's okay. And yeah, things been getting crazy. But yeah, I do clothes mostly and I model here and there. Give me your size. I'm gonna give me your size and I'll send you some stuff. Okay. Again, hustler. I'm not trying to use nobody. I'm, not, I'm trying to get my clothes. And I'm not trying to think about no cheeks, no sex, no nothing. I'm trying to get to my bag. You know what I'm saying? That was what that was that was what was wrong with you. I was trying to get to a bag. Uh. That's what you didn't realize. You thought it was about joints. And it was never about joints. I said, give me your size and I'll send you some stuff. It looks business real it looks business related. It looks like he's telling the truth. I said she said, What's been getting crazy? And you have your own line question mark. And she said, Okay, so far as my size, it all depends on how your clothing fits. I rock it for you though. I said social media has been getting crazy and yes, yeah, at that time I'm getting lit, you feel me? And this is at the end of me messing with, with Leslie. Like my life is changing way before Queen. And she knows that. She Queen said, What's been getting crazy? And you have your own line? Okay, and whatever. And I said, Social media has been getting crazy and yes, I do. I would love to have you in it. I can send you shirts and hoodies right now. Look on it, you know what I'm saying? You know your size, laugh it loud. She <laughs> said, same for me, man. It gets super crazy, especially what's going on with me. But in shirt, and then she said, but in shirts and hoodies small. I said, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do? You feel me? Pretty sure I've seen you before too. You look familiar. What's going on with you? She said, I do YouTube and I be going viral a lot with a guy, my husband, who now is saying, all right, so on, so forth. So yeah, the conversation was strictly business. Okay. He pulled up the receipts. That's what it was. Like, I'm not even, I wasn't even on that kind of time. I'm really just trying to work and get my clothes into the right people. Nigga, you know? in my eyes, I'm like, nigga, she got a husband. I'm chilling off that. Nigga. You know? I'm good off that, you feel me? I'm not even, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to form relationships and you feel Business me? Like, relationships. I, it was just business for me. It was genuinely just business at first. My fault. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit happens. Like, God, damn. She <laughs> fell in love with me and I fell in love with her. We're like, what do you want people to do about that? That's what I'm saying. That's what happened. <laughs> What's like, destined to happen is gonna happen. Like, but at first it was definitely just business. I thought it was gonna be just business too. You think I expected this? I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to fall in love with her. I didn't, I didn't expect her to fall in love with me. I'm pretty sure she didn't either. When you said, you said it's obvious that I was messing with Queen because she was loaded with money and clout. I feel like I've said this before, but again, Queen didn't. I had to stop it right here because why do people automatically think that that's the reason why a person is with somebody? Do they not realize that just because one person is highly successful and at the moment the other person is not that that's all they want from that person like why why is that do you all realize that as time passes years go on and they're both still grinding that the other person might end up becoming successful as well why does one person have to be successful i don't get that and you can build together it'll be selfish if, if one person just stayed successful and the other one didn't like what kind of relationship would that be I have money when when I met her, you know what I'm saying? Everything was taken away from her. Everything, everything was in the other person's account. Like she had no credit card. The credit cards was taken away from her. Like she didn't have money when she was with me. You feel me? And I put- And y'all remember that story. We witnessed it. Chris Sales took all of Queen's shit. Queen left with nothing, even though she put in a lot of work on that channel. Or her, like he can vouch for that, you feel me? Like, I feel like I'm a man of like dignity. I'm a man of pride, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of pride. And for me, to mess with a girl because she has a lot of money or clout, just it just it doesn't sit right with me with with the type of person that i am mm. they being famous remember that clarence was raised by a single mother he saw how hard his mother had to work a strong independent woman on her own so if anything 
queen being a single mother trying to do shit on her own independently was probably most likely what was attractive in Clarence's eyes. If anything, he respected her in that way. Make her stand out in my DMs? Of course it did. Just like if I slide in one of your DMs, my shit is right there. You're gonna see that and you're gonna answer. For you to say that I messed with her for money and clout, it just like, it really, it really, that really pissed me off. Mm. You feel me? That right there. You know why? Because I didn't, I didn't mess with her for money and clout. You feel me? I mess with her because she's beautiful. Mm. I mess with her because she's strong. Okay. I, I mess with her because she's goofy. I mess with her because she makes me laugh. Okay. I mess with her because she showed me that there's a there's a there's more to Clarence than I see in Clarence. <laughs> what else? What else? Yes. Is she's selfless. She's daring. Daring. She, she's great in bed. She great. believed in me. This boy said she's great in bed. Okay. <laughs> she invested in me. Not a lot of women that can say that. Facts. Let me look at my past. <laughs> let me let me go down memory lane. I'm 35 years old. Not one person have I dated or have I been with has invested in me or in my dreams. For Clarence to have someone like Queen invest in him and his dreams. Y'all don't think he's gonna find that attractive? That this woman really wants to stand beside me and help me pursue what I've been longing to pursue for a long time. Who doesn't want that? It's that support system. She invested in, in me. You know? <laughs> she seen I had potential and she invested in me. Mm. She bought me a camera. I didn't ask her to do that. <laughs> I didn't ask her to do that. She just bought it. She seen I was vlogging off the phone and just bought me a camera. Ah. I had the big ass cannon. Trying to carry around a big ass candy, never remember that. <laughs> she believed in him. That's why I fuck with her though. That's right. Not because of all of that nonsense that y'all say. The queen I know. I definitely don't look at her as a as a check or as money or as an opportunity. That is the mother of my child. Facts. And I love her. And y'all can't take that part away from him. Death, I will die for her. I will die for her and on any given day. It's my heart, you feel me? And I and just like how I'm a nigga, even if me and Queen don't work out, well, I put that on everything I love. I will forever love Queen. She has a special place in my heart forever, mom. How's that? Forever. I feel like we've changed and grew with each other in a way that I just don't think would have happened with 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 my ex. You feel me? Hey. And and she get me emotional because like people like people try to play you feel me that's how all this shit started like a lot of like a lot of shit that i get into you know what i'm saying on the internet and shit like i really don't like the internet i really don't get into it with a lot of people on the internet but like a lot of shit that i've been getting that i that i've been into is mainly me defending my girl and my queen you feel me and i that's really sad. don't give a fuck you feel that's me sad. Like when you start saying shit it's like, crazy that when you have to defend your relationship and yourself and your partner there's nothing to defend if y'all are not in the relationship if you guys are not behind closed doors during the during the struggle during during the hard times y'all ain't got no business to say shit but when they're successful y'all still want to talk shit why? why? Why does that make you feel good? Why does that make you feel any better? Let them live, y'all. They have a little family going on. Let them live. They're like my, my girl. You feel Crazy. me? One day my son got to see you saying that I, I'm with, I, I got with his mom for money and clout. That's the mother of my mm, kids. It's pretty fucked you up. You tripping. That woman. Oh, do y'all catch that? Hold on. Let me run that by a second or two. My son got to see you saying that I, I'm with, I, I got with his mom for money and clout? That's the mother of my kids. You trip. He said kids. That's the mother of my kids. Not kid because they only have one child together. But he's also including CJ. A child that she conceived from another marriage. His kids. I respect the man. That woman mean the world to me. 
not only do I respect him as a father and a stepfather, but I respect him in the way he's talking about his girl. He's holding her down. Mm. I'm picking her over you every time. Every I just time. want to make that clear, like, and I'm, I'm not specifically talking to my ex. I'm talking to everybody out there, Mo. Put some respect on my relationship, Mo. It means a lot to me, Mo. It really does. I'm not out here screaming it from the rooftops and I'm not posting the best pictures with the cute outfits and all of that <laughs> shit. I'm not doing all of that, but that shit mean the world to me, Mo. Those people up there mean the world to me, Mo. That girl, that kid mean the world to me, Mo. See, his words means a lot more than posting pictures with cute outfits. All these youngins, and no disrespect to those who do it, not to say that those relationships are not loving or any, or any type of way, but a lot of people do shit for show, just to look cute, because they look like a cute couple. They don't know what the fuck's going on with that relationship. Ain't nobody know. We still don't know what their, how their relationship is. We still don't know. But the way he speaks about his woman, though, the way he speaks about his girl, means a lot more than a photo. You feel me? So I like a like I need y'all to put some re some respect on my relationship or and put some respect on my girl name. Is his eyes getting you watery? Me? Like my it looks girl like his guys not, hasn't watery. done no nigga nowhere near the things that you've put me through. Uh. And I had to face with you. Uh. And I and I love her for that. I love her for that. She respects me, mo. Hey. She loves on me. Loves on me. She be feeling all awkward and shit. Like, <laughs> sometimes the nigga don't even know how to feel. Oh. But I love her. I love it. I love it here. You know what I'm saying? I just want to I really want to address cute. that. You feel me? I just, I hate that shit. Sometimes the reason why I don't say shit, sometimes the reason why I say shit, sometimes the reason why I don't say shit is because mainly is because I'm trying to protect my queen and I'm thinking about my girl. 100%. I'm serious about mom. And this is mom. Tell him. Tell him. With the world, like looking, the world looking at us on the outside in. You feel me? Let me get closer real quick. Get closer. I feel like the world, the world right now looking at my situation and this situation. And this is why I feel like, because it, it just happens so much with other YouTube couples and everything. But the world would probably look at this situation and be like, yo, Clarence is tripping. And I'm doing this no filter, no nothing. I don't give a, f I don't, like, I'm done. Like, no one's telling me how to act. No one's telling me what to say, none of that. You feel me? Leslie is, like, curvier. Or Leslie is, I like, I don't, is, is natural. Or what I like, whatever the world, world may think. This is too And I've seen a picture of Leslie. No lie, she's a very beautiful girl. Yes, curvy and looking good. I do, I do give her that. But who gives a fuck? The relationship did not last for a reason. Who cares about looks? It can't just be off of looks. And it doesn't even matter. Queen is also gorgeous. Why compare exes? Why do people compare exes? Why? Ooh, Leslie. I feel like I have more questions on how people are in general. Even you may think you might be uh, like, cause you're sitting there and it's like, you're bothering me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just, it's bothering it's me because it's like, you're making it seem like as if you're better. That's crazy. Than the person I'm with. For some reason, that's the vibe. That's the vibe that I got, you feel me? And Queen don't say shit about her. She don't say shit about nobody. That, that makes Leslie look even worse. I feel like the world would say that I'm tripping or they'd rather be with Leslie because of the way she looks. Those are stupid you, people. You, maybe you feel like- <laughs> Those I'm are stupid people because they don't know Leslie. Who's to say she's better for you? Now, well, maybe, maybe this is not for you. Again, I'm not trying to bash you or nothing, but this is just how right. I, feel. I feel like I've been holding this, holding shit in for years. You feel me? The world may look at me and be like, oh, queen, like I, I and look at Leslie and be like, Oh yeah, he really want to be with her, or he really want to be with that. You know, you missed that, or and you're wrong. Wrong, <laughs> okay. And you're wrong. You know what? You know what's? You know what was? You you know what was wrong? You know what's one of my my biggest problems with you? Oh, Is you never was a you you never you never was the woman I needed, and that's where that's where Queen 
Got it. Oh! Oh! He said, You was never the woman I needed. We can want as much as we want to, but God will bring you the person that you need. And Leslie was not that person. Preach it. You feel me? You never was the woman I needed. So it didn't matter what she did. It didn't, it didn't matter what she would ever do in the future. She just wasn't meant for him. He's getting emotional about it. And it's like, it's more, it's more the looks it's more than looks for me. For me too. Queen is a woman. You can look pretty all day, all night. But there's gotta be some substance into that. There's gotta be intelligence. There's gotta be um, a caring heart. There's gotta be some form of affection, love. Something that you can teach me. Make me better as a person. You can't just be pretty. I'm sorry. Just can't. You feel me? Like Queen is a woman. All my, my shorty is a woman. A woman? Okay. My shorty, my shorty about to drop an album. Hey, what else you gonna do? Tell him. My shorty not worried about three exes ago, four exes ago. Okay. My exes had exes before me, and yet I'm on the topic. And, and again, I know this is all starting because the book and all that, but you could have simply just said you didn't write the book. That was it. Now it's like, oh, I've waited three years and I want to tell my story. I just, I, it, that didn't sit right with me. There was and you know why she's doing it now? Because she's trying to create a business. She's trying to become successful herself, trying to make money. And I don't blame her, honestly. It's a great move that she's doing. But damn, it just sucks when you gotta throw a whole family under the bus just to get ahead. That's life though, man. Life is, life is grimy. Life is shady. Life is dirty. There was a, another thing I wanted to address. And what I, else you gotta say, I boy? I didn't understand it myself. <laughs> and I still don't understand it. Um, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible. Me and Queen, we're the only ones that are still together and and let me break that down to you let me explain what I, what i mean when i say that both like both my ex and queen's ex both have been in multiple relationships after us after mm -hmm. me and queen like many exes many like we're not talking about one we're not talking about two we're not talking about three like many exes many. and i just don't understand many exes within three years I like our relationship gets questioned or our love for each other gets questioned we're still together like I don't get like for three years for about three years we've dealt with her ex just doing petty clickbait trolling <laughs> Chris motherfucking sales for, 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 for <laughs> personal gain and now yeah. you, I feel like you're doing the same thing because she you is. have many exes and yet you go to me. Well, le let me break this down for you, Clarence. I know you know this, but you're trying to be nice right now. These two exes were happy, were high in life once upon a time when they were with you guys. Shit went wrong, shit went downhill. Y'all ain't together no more. Y'all two became highly successful in a highly happy place together with kids where the other two exes have gone downhill. They are no longer successful. They're lost in their lives. They don't know what to do, what to accomplish. And then they start going down memory lane and being like, damn, I was really happy with them and look where they're at now. So there's, there's resentment, there's bitterness and they're, they're going to point out anything about your relationship because misery loves company. But don't let, don't allow that shit to happen. They don't mean shit no more. They don't mean shit. I feel like you could have simply made this video. And again, I do apologize for the whole health thing. Cool. All that you get, all of that. You should, you should react to that. You should have say on that. Mm -hmm. But my relationship. Don't touch it. Three years later, right. like y'all both got to chill. You both like, got to chill. And all I'm saying is like, we've been together, we, we stuck it out. We've still together, we're still friends to this day. We still talk every day, we still love each other every day. Y'all too? <laughs> I know. 
I know Claire Kerr. Claire Bear, Claire Claire. Like y'all, y'all been Claire, Claire, Claire. videos about your, your current <laughs> ex or your last boyfriend. They're not going to. Your last girlfriend. Like that, you guys that's are the, one thing I don't You understand. guys are the successful relationship. You guys are the successful people with money. They're going to always attack y'all. They're going to always gonna come after you guys. And like I, like, I could never. Y'all are happy. Never, I've never sat down and did a video about my ex. I've never sat down and did anything, any mm. content revolved around my past relationship the past the past that's correct i don't go backwards so i don't give a fuck what my exes have to say about me and our past relationships y'all can keep on talking i know what the fuck i was in those relationships and i just gotta move forward i don't go back yeah that's straight i just think i think niggas gotta chill that's all and i just it's like it just does it's it's mind-boggling to me there is, there's this memory that I have of being with you, and it, it was it had to do with your dad. Mm. I've seen I've seen a conversation in your phone with your dad, and he was saying how I wasn't a real man, and that real men has job it has a job, and that I'm not a real man, and social media is not a job, and that you shouldn't follow me, and you shouldn't try to do what I do. Boy, was he wrong. That this is the thing too though, Claire. Not everyone becomes successful in social media. So I don't blame parents for saying those type of things. It's hard when everyone's trying to get that bag in the same place. It's hard to stand out in that type of field. He could have also been right. Yes, he was wrong about your situation. But he could have been right. But regardless, if you have a dream, go for it. Fuck what everybody has to say. Especially your girl's family. Fuck that shit. Stuck with me so much, and this is strictly all my all my young kings out. The only one you need beside you is your girl and your family, and if not your family, at least your partner, man. At least your partner, because God will always take care of you. But it's 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 really nice to have that support system. Yeah, you feel me? That shit hurt me. You feel me? And that right there, that right there, like it was one of the things that just. It had nothing to do with her. It was just my pride. Mm. You feel me? You talking about what? Say less. And boy, was he wrong. I'm living. Live your life. I get what I want. Get what you want. I do what I want. Do what you want. I fly what I want. Fly I what eat you what want. I want. Eat. I smoke what I want. I smoke. drink what I want. Drink it and drink. I wear what I want. Okay. Buy what I want. Everything. Spoil my, 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 my family when I want. Mm, baby mama, kids, mama, like sister. I'm happy. Best friend. Happy. Uh, okay, I don't blame you. Fuck them all. <laughs> Fuck them all. And it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, hey. I, I, told, I, I said all of this was going to happen. Of and I course. just wonder how your dad feels now. That you do on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic. Uh. It's ironic. And he's talking about Leslie just started her YouTube channel off of this story. And her videos are getting views. Views. It's easy to jump, it's easy to climb that ladder off of other people's success. And she's using it, man. She's climbing it. Listen, his video was 45 minutes. I jumped at the most important spots. And it seems like my video is gonna be just as long, if not longer, because of my commentary. Listen, I have a lot to say. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and react to Leslie's response to this video. I have not seen a video from her at all, so, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on over. So follow me there. I will be posting that video later today. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.